I'm going to be teaching you how to colour grade a GoPro video that is shot underwater. I'm going to be using the clip of the bottlenose dolphins that I just showed you in the introduction and I'm going to teach you step by step on how I colour grade this clip. These are the settings that I used when filming with the GoPro. Once you have the video clip that you're going to color grade and edit import it into Resolve, the first thing you do is you're going to right click on the video and click on Generate Optimized Media. So this process is actually creating a proxy of my video which is a lower resolution version of the video. And what this does is that it allows me to edit more smoothly as my PC cannot currently handle editing at 4K 60 frames. If your PC is good enough to handle the resolutions then you don't need to do this step and you can skip it and move right on to the editing. So once you've created the proxy the video which you're going to edit is going to look a little bit grainy and lower resolution but it makes it easier for your computer to handle while editing and adding color grades. Once you export it it's going to go back to normal or whatever setting or resolution you export it at so don't worry about it looking not as good right now so onto the editing now we're going to drag the clip down into our timeline it's going to look like this and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the clip highlight the clip and move to the color tab and we're going to stabilize this video so we're going to click on this uh, this square right here the tracker and then we're going to go down to stabilizer choose similarity and click stabilize Now onto the color grading, we're going to first go to the curve tool which is on the left hand side of the bar and here we're going to create a very gentle S curve to bring down the shadows a little bit like this and then we're going to bring up the highlights like this and going to create a very gentle S curve which looks a little bit like this. When you're shooting videos underwater most of your clips are going to have very strong greens and blues like shown on this clip whereas the reds are going to be a little lower so what we want to do is we're going to try to balance these out a little bit more and we do this by dragging the offset of the green and the blue down a little bit like this so you can see that as I move the greens down the clip becomes a little, little bit more purple in color and then now if we drag the blues down it's going to start balanced out and give us a better looking color like this. At any point whilst you're editing you can press shift and D to look at the original clip and then press it again to put it back to normal. So this is what the editing has done so far. But because we move the greens and the blues down on the scope the overall clip looks a little bit darker. So we're going to fix this next by moving on to the waveform screen on the right hand side. So now that we're on the waveform screen, you can see some numbers along the side. On most clips that you're color grading, you want the bottom of the waveform to be at around 128 and the peaks or the highlights to be at around 900 up here. So we can adjust this by dragging the lift and the gain. So first I'm going to drag the lift, click and hold the Y and drag it to the left to bring it down. And you can see the clip overall getting darker in the shadows. And most of it is around 128 now, which I'm pretty happy with. And next we're going to go to the gain 
and again on the click and drag the Y, this time to the right, to increase the peaks of the wave. And this is going to brighten the highlights. For this clip, I'm going to move it up to around here. So I'm pretty happy with how the clip is looking compared to how it started with. It looks like this. And I'm just going to add a couple of finishing touches. I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit to around 1.1. Around 1 .1. And then we're going to move to the second tab. And I am going to increase the midtones and highlights just a little bit and bring the shadows down and I think this is how I'm gonna leave this clip <laughs> watching up to here and I hope you found this video helpful please consider subscribing and liking if you did for the rest of this video, I'm going to roll on some of my favourite clips that I took in the past month and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. We are, we are dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust